appears at the U.S. Embassy in Cairo. He offers his services as an informant. CIA officials in Cairo are skeptical. The Egyptians warn them that Ali Mohammed is a radical Muslim. Nonetheless, the Cairo office lets its counterparts around the world know that Ali Mohammed is available for an assignment. A response comes back from the CIA in West Germany. It could use a man like Ali. As a result, Mohammed goes on a mission for the CIA. His assignment? Infiltrate a mosque here in Hamburg with ties to Hezbollah. Mohammed quickly reveals himself. Ali goes in and over the course of a week he lets it be known um, to the people in the mosque that um, he's actually been sent there at the behest of the agency. CIA officials quickly find out that Mohammed has betrayed them. The agency says it terminates its relationship with him. The U.S. State Department adds Mohammed's name to a watch list as a suspected terrorist. But Sawari has bigger plans for Mohammed. He sends him on his next mission. Enter the United States and keep looking for ways to infiltrate U.S. intelligence. Even though Mohammed's name is on a watch list, the State Department issues him a visa. At the time, officials are simply not focused on terrorist threats inside the U.S. One news report would later say Mohammed gets past the watch list with CIA help. Did somebody close their eyes and just sign off something and give it to him? We were never able to confirm that. I think it's a function of A, not knowing what B is doing, and that 